This is an item each and everyone, including your mother, have to know. Hello, my friends! Welcome to the 30 days rank push challenge, where I'm uploading a new ML guide for 30 days straight. We're on day 14 today. Here you have the full upload plan for the challenge. Today, we will talk about three magic items Winter Junction, Feather of Heaven, and Necklace of Durants. First, the five shoutouts of today goes to Prashan Oinams, Jan Richmond, John Bird Singh, Daniel Mazarak, and. Uh, uh, I totally botched that. As always, write something nice in the comments, and all giveaway infos are in the description. Now, let's get into the meaty part. First, we will go through the stats of Winter Junction. It gives you plus 400 HP, plus 25 physical defense, and plus 60 magic power. This item has one active skill, and it's called Frozen. When you activate the skill, you will freeze for 2 seconds, while in this state, you can't do anything, and you're immune to all damage and debuffs. This skill has a 100 second cooldown. I'm using Elsa for the demonstration. After using the skill, I can't be attacked anymore, but there's also nothing I can do to cancel the skill. So, now the big question, who can use it and how to use it properly? In general, this item is made for magic heroes, that's why it gives you magic power. But it's still possible to use it on physical damage heroes as your defensive item. For example, if you play as MM and want to have an additional counter against CC or lock on skills. As with your flicker or purify skill, you need the right timing. That's mostly when your enemy committed to engage against you and you don't have anything else to counter it anymore. The 2 second freeze often gives you the chance to make a comeback when you are low or your skills are on cooldown, or both. Maybe your teammates are on the way to you and you can turn around the gank. Maybe your skills are available again to fire back at your enemy or to have the chance to get the f*** out of there. In the end, you need to use the skill in your matches and figure out the right timing. The more you play, the more experience you gain and therefore the better you become, theoretically. Still, I give you some ideas when to use it. When for example an Aldo, Matilda, Jawhead or Saber locks their ult on you, you can freeze to prevent the damage and the stun. When Halcott uses his ult, you can prevent of getting silenced, when you are near a wall and a fanny tries to eat you up, or when an enemy tries to kick you to the moon with their ult, like Won Won, Badang or Claude. Now, let's talk about Feather of Heaven. We start again with the stats. You get plus 30% attack speed, plus 65 magic power, and plus 5% movement speed. This item has one effect and it's called Affliction. Basic attacks will deal 40% of your magic power as extra magic damage. Again, simple math. If you have 100 magic power, you deal 40 extra magic damage. I'm using Guinevere for the demonstration here. As you can see, I have 88 magic power and deal an extra of 41 magic damage. Hmm, that doesn't fit with the calculation. Anyone have an idea? Why this is? I give you my current stats and let you think for a moment. It happens because of my flat magic penetration value. As mentioned in the video yesterday, the defense of an enemy can drop below zero and therefore we can deal more damage than calculated. Again, just a little side note. So, who is this item for? In general, you should use it on heroes who can deal magic damage and benefit from attack speed. There are not so many actually. Examples are Silvana, Guinevere or Esmeralda. Last, let's talk about Necklace of Durants. This is an item each and every one, including your mother, have to know. Because it's one of three anti-heal items that you desperately need against heroes with HP regen and shields. The two other are Sea Albert and Dominance Eyes. But first, it's secret keyword time. It is... Frozen. Again, all giveaway infos are in the description. Now let's start first with the stats. You get plus 60 magic power, plus 10% magic lifesteal and plus 5% cooldown reduction. This item has one effect and it's called Life Drain. Now listen carefully, so you know how to actually use it. After dealing damage to the target, you reduce the shield and HP regen of the target by 50% for 3 seconds. This has no cooldown, so if you directly hit this target again, the effect is triggered again. I'm using Estes for the demonstration. First the amount of healing before I'm getting hit. And now after I was hit. 
also to demonstrate the shield. This is how much shield I gained from ages, before the effect is active on me, and now with the life drain effect on me. You can see what a big difference it makes. So whenever you face a team, where a hero with regen abilities dominates, at least two heroes in your team need to buy an anti-heal item. This one you can use pretty much on any mage, or any hero that deals magic damage. Now go and check out the whole item guide playlist. You will need it at the end of the challenge for the make your own build guide. Or if you are a daily viewer, see you tomorrow, have a wonderful day 